who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. Good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to an I Have Moment, the Calm Before the Storm. I'm your host, Minister Idris Taha. And with me, we have Bo Holy Apostle Dean and Brother Fat Kill Abdul Aziz. May I ease his peace and other blessings by everybody's presence. Peace, 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 peace. We have a live student audience here. May I ease his peace and other blessings by everybody's presence as well. Uh, glory and praise be to Aiza, for this is the last day of the month of Ramadan, the last day of the fasting. Mm-hmm. Glorify his office. One of the beautiful things of Allah caused us to experience, we had a little service earlier today with the young people in this community. And it was question, given to them a question. What have you gained during your fasting time period? And many of them came up with insightful answers. One said that they had gained about going to into themselves more, contemplation, getting away from the worldly things. Others saying they recognize the devils in themselves and, and that battle that they are fighting to the person that said, you know, even speaking truth against their own selves. So many people in religion today, especially most you know, the Islamic community, when this time period come upon us from Aiza, Allah said, fasting is good for you if you but knew. People don't understand what the good of it, because coming away from everything to contemplate and reflect upon Aiza is a beautiful thing. In the time that Allah calls you to fast, the time for the break, you know, if you get into the true spirit of it, you know, food becomes the evil of, don't even come into your thought because Aiza feeds you so many other things from itself his essence that it gives you. Now think about what it says in the mouth of Jesus when he was tempted by the devil. He said, you know, when he was fasting his time period of 40 days, and he said that man should not live by bread alone, but every word that received from the mouth of the Lord, of his essence, being fed of his spirit, of his wisdom, of his guidance, of his books, you know, and in working, you know, during this time period, you know, up at the Holy House, he's gaining so much now of his spirit that when you're trying to pray fast and getting involved in the work, the food became the least, and you start eating of that spirit and you start feeling of his goodness. That when you come out of it, it's time to bend it, your, your appetite has been suppressed and your stomach has shrunk. And by the time you eat a little bit now, it becomes like a full meal now, and then getting involved in that. So, these are the things that are one of the many things that I used to have blessings with. And I think I used to carry on that spirit, you know, of the fasting beyond just the time frame that it be called. It's part of our striving towards our easy that it is given these things as part of that vehicle, part of our way of life to come to it. That is one of the avenues that it exposes for us and gives us to utilize for the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Can I say something? Sure, I want to acknowledge our audience. I'm not on the show today, mm-hmm. but I want to just let y'all know that um, we have been made aware that our show has come on without any audio. That means you have been unable to hear us. Um, Please pardon us for that. Hopefully going forward, that will not happen. But I want to say, please pardon us for that. I uh, I want to speak on it too. I I spoke about that in in my show. In my show. And uh, um, and what I just advise the people of is that the devil is working. Mm-hmm. Knowingly and unknown, we got devils in our camp, and we got devils outside surrounding our camp. You know, they like pulling up, coming around the horses, man, the wagons, circling the wagons. The wagon. They want to do us in. You know, we got people in here that say they love me, they say they love Allah, but they will not extend themselves to sacrifice in the way that we've been called to sacrifice ourselves for Allah. So that just proves them as being a devil. You know, um, and I told people, I'm not going to apologize to them. The ones who are responsible for doing these things needs to do some service, needs to work their heart out to try to make up for the errors that they that they commit against our show because our show is not for us. We're not making any money from it. 
I'm not gaining anything but what notoriety or something from it. I don't know. But but this show is for you all. And they're doing you a disservice when they interfere with the message that Allah or Aizel Amen is 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 providing for you. Whether they stand behind the camera, whether they work on the electronic um equipment, whether they be in this camp or, or associated with cable vision or whatever. It is their devils that's interfering with Allah's word. And see, the weight of that is not on us, and it, the weight of that is on them. They're going to have to answer, you know, and it ain't going to be no, oh, excuse me, I was tired. You know, when Allah gave you life and you talk about tired, what if Allah let you go to sleep and don't let you wake up? You, you, you feel what I'm saying? So that's, a, that's really on them. You know, I've been, I found myself in the past perturbed because of people throwing, throwing stones at us, so to speak, right. trying to interfere with our show. But when you get it from your own camp, that's bad, you know? So for you who out there who, who be in anguish, because we know some of you um, have uh, called or have approached us about it, you know, um, we feel for you, you know? I can't apologize because I don't have control of those things. But um, if they want me to extend an apology to you for them, then they need to come to me or, or Holy Queen Mother and, and say what they need to say so that we could tell you what they say about it. But trust me, Allah said it will not miss an Adam's weight of judgment and punishment on the, on the people. When they try to, you try to stop Allah's word, you better think about what you're doing. When you come to the circle of Allah's messenger, you better think about what you're doing. Because your life ain't the same as what you might think it is. Trust me. Now, in regards to the fasting, the abstinence, the beauty that I've seen in, in the end of the Ramadan is, is that we've come to the end of 70 days of fasting. Yes. You see, yes. I'm not going to negate the 40 days yes. that of fasting that Aiza Allah has given us because of what's coming upon in the 30 days. That is extra for us now. Mm -hmm. You see, as to where it is, it is um, um, primary for the for the Muslims that follow the path of the way of Muhammad, who many who have gone astray. It's secondary to us now. Mm -hmm. What is primary to us is the forty days of fasting, mm -hmm. and those of us who have a, have have enjoyed the, the continuing with the Ramadan, the extra thirty days. What a blessing! Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the thing about it, but what I see most of the people and the believers and the pastors that I had is that they understand that the fasting, the abstinence, that's what fasting is, abstinence. The least of it is the food. When Aiza said, you know, when Jesus talked about man can't live by bread alone, he was talking about, now he wasn't talking about the eating of the food. He was telling them about, it's not about the, the food so much, it's about this other thing, all these other things you need to fast away from. People get it twisted in thinking that he was saying, well, don't just concentrate on your eating. No, he was telling them, don't just concentrate on the fact that you're being brought away from the eating. Remember why are you brought away from the eating? Remember, you're supposed to be fasting away from all these other ill-conceived ideas and conceptions of your life. And taken away from the lowest of yourself, the least of yourself, which seems to most people to be the most of themselves, makes them recognize that there's something else going on inside of them. Something else is happening. Because when your attention gets away from that flesh, it goes where? To the other avenues of your being. And that's one of the reasons we include food being taken away from you. But that fasting was truly, truly geared towards you being abstinent, or taking abstinence away from the evils that you practice in your life and your mind. That's what it's geared towards. And if you don't believe me, then fast away from food and be sincere and see where it takes your mind, see where it takes your heart, see where it takes your flesh. 
you become more humble. You become more orderly. You become, a, you know, Preservation. more of the whole. But for the, for the sake of me, if that's the truth, then why am I most attacked by the Muslims doing Ramadan? Woo! You got to ask yourself that question. Who are they that would attack a man during Ramadan if they are following the law's guidance? Huh? Who would plot and plan during Ramadan when the law direct them to not? Huh? To not make war. One of the things the law prescribed, as the only prophet was saying, that book that Allah has sent down to Prophet Muhammad, the Holy Quran, is a book of evidence against yourself. Mm -hmm. They will not utilize the litmus test, but do not the book as Allah said the Quran is the criterion of that which came before that which is to come, that which is a right and wrong. Mm -hmm. They utilize it as a war weapon against others and not mm -hmm. the war against themselves. Yeah. Allah said, don't fight in the holy month. Right. Mm -hmm. If this is not one of the mother Allah described as being holy, mm -hmm. Allah said, make not war, yeah. but incline towards peace. Mm -hmm. But they have taken, like you said, gone in reverse, gone backwards, and make the holy call during the month that Allah described as a, as a time period of the four months that they recognize mm -hmm. to put away from yeah. all those activities. Yeah. Now let me stop you for a second, then you can go okay. on. You said incline towards peace. How many of them recognize Allah saying incline towards me? The peace. peace. The, <laughs> <Asalaam>. <laughs> uh, incline right. towards Asalaam. Incline yeah. towards uh, it. That's right. They, they don't understand that. They think peace is something that they can make between you and I. <laughs> uh, Allah says, be off with those things of the world and incline yourself towards it. That's right. That's right. The peace. Look at the tradition of reading the Quran during the month of Ramadan. And in that reading, if they pray for a sincere reading, they will see that the peace is to come. Whereas Aizu Allah in that Quran promises throughout the Quran that is sending forth his messenger to obey me and my messengers. Take the example of my messenger. But you know what they do? Is an thing. Many times, most of them, their whole duty is to so recite the Quran. They don't pray to Aizu, Aizu read to them, or misunderstand know about, about that. that. But they recite the Quran and go through a whole month just reciting the words. Like Not seeking the understanding, uh, seeking the essence of the book. Like he said, for them to pray, you know, mm -hmm. trust me, brother, Satan prays a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Satan prays a lot for Allah to bless him with the power <laughs> and the wisdom and the guidance to do his evil, man. <laughs> but the thing about it is that if you don't act, upon Allah's commandments. Your prayers is nothing. Because in your prayers, you need to be guided. So what you say, the words of prayer. The words of prayer is not the prayer. The essence of prayer, the meaning of prayer, the being of praise of Allah is the prayer. And every pray, and every true prayer that you pray, that's why I say Allah said, what is that word pray? Huh? To prey upon someone, to, to seek to devour someone, why they make that word pray and pray the same? Huh? It says, it says so for those who call upon me and remember, try to rejoin themselves unto it. Those are the ones that I bless. So if you go into the Quran and you call upon it to take you aside from your frailty, to protect you against the enemy of yourself, which is it, which is yourself, <laughs> then in that, it may open up to you the reality of its being, sights and understanding, insight to it of the unseen where it will show you itself in things. Huh? I give you the opening of the book. Huh? Because see, Allah said something very, very beautiful to me. It gave me a what we call component number twenty-six, um teaching. the teaching. Yes. And it was relative to the opening, mm -hmm. the Holy Quran. And it said in these often seven repeated verses. 
I give you the whole of the Quran. Mm -hmm. And it said that it, the whole of Quran only, dis, only describes an opening to these seven off-repeated verses. The seven off-repeated verses contain a world. Mm -hmm. It contains the other world. Where the Holy Quran contains this world. So when Allah have you read the Holy Quran and you read prophecy, sometimes people reading prophecy don't even know they're reading prophecy. Right. You're reading written guidance. You're reading protection, signs of protection. You're reading signs of understanding. You're reading everything about this world. You're reading the history of people so that you will not create or commit to the same type of right. faultiness in the history of people. That's the Holy Quran. Mm -hmm. But your aim is to go through the off-repeated verses, the realms of the seven off-repeated verses. That's what chapter 2 to 113 is all about. <laughs> which is really... Okay, so the varieties of the world. To the 114. 114, which is really 1 to 113 in that off seven off-repeated verses, and that 113 carries weight. That number 13 and the one <laughs> carries weight about Allah and its angels <laughs> to get you to that one, to get you to the seven of heaven. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. People don't understand the spirit that he's manifested in this moment of prayer, of his essence, of his joy, of that this thing is being broken down. People that watch this program need to understand the service and the sacrifice of the messenger right easy. You can't even fathom the duty that Allah provides through him of his service for that he sacrificed to come back to be a witness bearer to mm -hmm. the other realm, the world that he's talking about. Yeah. Allah is bringing that forth now. And people that are out there in that line state trying to commit war or trying to start a war, know that you fight along the angels mm -hmm. and the unseen. Mm -hmm. And Allah will not be on your coming on your side. Allah said those who fight against it in the wrong way who not stand on the firm foundation in it. Allah said their masters, their powers of worship will not stand mm -hmm. on falsehood, mm -hmm. not stand on truth, because mm -hmm. they're built on falsehood. Yeah. You yeah. know. You talk about being a witness in that. Reading that Quran, they'll also see that Aiz of Law has caused that the messenger, the messenger is going to be a witness, that each messenger sent to every nation of people speaking in their tongues is going to stand as a witness against them, too. So be mindful of those who witness. And I have people. to say, before Holy Queen Mother mm -hmm. says something, is that praise be to Aiz and what you said about me. You know, I don't want the people to think that I'm sitting up here and my chest getting bigger because it's no. still the same size. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yes, you know what I'm saying about them. You know, mm -hmm. they can't feel the spirit yeah. that you feel up here. They may feel a spirit out there, but I know what you're feeling up here. Yeah. It's happiness and everything because by the same token, when you say that, I feel so good, and then I look at you and see all the hell I've gone through on you oh. because, because of you. <laughs> no problem. Ah, 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 ah. He's like a son to me. I the hell I'm going through, through, through and trying to see my brother through for all these years. Praise you to Praise you. Praise you. Because you're still here. Praise you. You know, I ain't growing. You know, you know like, you don't, don't throw your hand up. You ain't. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even halfway through what you going through. And I'm like, I got a little club that want to knock him in the head with you. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know. You Praise spoke about the reason why I laugh and I appreciate that you uh, for what I just sent down through this message at and Holy Queen because you spoke about truth and trust. You know. Yeah. The friend of Allah is those whom Allah have raised up. Allah says you cannot fool or go against it and it's true believers. Mm -hmm. See, people of the religious world understand they all think they are true believers. Yeah. They are the false believers. Right. They all become the hypocrites all that they speak about, they point their other fingers at each other, saying, right. well, this person is not this or that. Mm -hmm. When one who speaks more while of his truth and can see you and all your falsehood and, and you. recognize you, not only I use compassion for you to call you back into the way of it, recognizing what the true friendship is, which is Aiza, mm -hmm. and the sign of manifest through his signs, he said, praise Aiza for that. Mm -hmm. That's why I appreciate the messenger. Holy Queen. Oh, Holy we Queen, know. You know, we and, know. and coming into that truth of that, you know, because, yeah. the, but the world don't understand how that 
the service that they're trying to fight, the war they want to go against, should be against them own selves. Yeah. That's my point. They should fight themselves just as hard going against those who they're trying to go against than putting that effort into themselves. Well, you know, that's why you and Fakir and others, you know, amongst the community of I had are the witness bearers. Because of your own faults and your own trials and tribulations and your own revelation and salvation and coming into an awareness into an achievement after going through all your ignorance and all what you go through, you become a testament to testify to the other people. Wait a minute, this is the way it is. This is the way it was for me. Because see, me saying that people have all you've heard people say, yeah, well, you yeah. could say this because you the messenger. Yeah. Well, you did. <laughs> you did like I right. haven't been born. You know, I just appeared. Like you said, to crawl before you walk. And yeah, yeah, yeah you but the Holy Queen Mother has, said, has something yeah. to say. You know, I was saying that um, sometimes I think what it is, is people don't understand the language. Spirituality yeah. is a different language. Yeah. Um, I know people say mm -hmm. that um, truth, truth, truth yeah. will rise and falsehood will fail, right. will fall. <laughs> right. And mm -hmm. a man's ship will not stand up with falsehood, falsehood right. a lot of people is looking at a physical structure, right? Yeah. I wouldn't tell and them, then right. they looking mm -hmm. at no, I know you was, but I'm just trying to make it clear to our right. audience. They look at physical structure. They look at numbers of people. Right. It don't matter if you got a thousand people in the mass shit and and only nine hundred nine hundred ninety nine of them is astray and only one is right. Mm -hmm. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. The falsehood is just that we're not talking about a structure. Sure. Right. I either is going beyond that, and that's what's the problem. Just like right. Ramadan, everything is so systematic yeah. with right. people mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. of what they call religion. Yeah. Right. It's systematic. Like during the month of Ramadan, you get all the Good salams, I call it. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> like Christmas. Yeah, everybody's spirit changed. Yeah, so good. Everybody love one another, especially when the Eid come and they give out them Eid gifts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know. And you get all the kind words. You know, I just came from Unity and I, I got some kind words. And I'm not saying that the people that express them kind right. words may not give them to me at other times. But I expect these things during the month of Ramadan. Well, for because, the most part, they won't give right. them to you. Because, because, you know, that's that's right. why you're saying what you're saying, because you know right. they won't give them to you. Just like all these different denominations is going out to great adventures to get the, all the Muslims together to have a good time, and they be hating one another. Right. Out there yeah. with people of other races and, and what have you that claim to be a Muhammad won't speak to you because you have a different understanding. Right. And they're hating on you because you're a different race. Right. And they want right. to make you less than them. Right. People and, uh, think that it's easy for us to say what we're saying because we're at the bottom of the totem pole, us black folks. Right. So we can always talk about somebody not treating us like we're equal to them. No, the Allah takes the bottom all the time and, as the cream of the crop. Yeah. Huh? And, um, you know, so it's so much hypocrisy. The soil is so important. Right? It's so much hypocrisy, and, and people don't respect Islam because right. people on the outside, not that they're not a part of hypocrisy, but people on the outside looking at, they see the hypocrisy. And just like I said, during the month of Ramadan, the Lord instructs us to read Quran. Mm -hmm. Allah said clearly in Quran, if, like I said, if you make the Quran a personal relationship Shit, between right. you and Allah, right. and not you and the man of your master, Shit, right. you would clearly see that Allah said to you, to right. you, Allah didn't say to your master, yeah, to right. your right. imam, right. Right. it said to you be your, your way, way. That's right. and to them be, be their, their way. way. It didn't. It, it was clear. Yeah. So if we have a different view. What's the problem? Yeah. Allah said only create war, only fight those who fight against yeah. you. Yeah. So if you start a war, how you want to say you fighting against someone fighting who against fight against, against you? you. Right. Right. You, well, know that's the, you know, they serve as the devil in this day and time. But you made a beautiful point that I want to add something to. Mm -hmm. You was talking about Allah saying to you be your way. And it's, it didn't say... Uh, to your ma masjid be your way. You know, um, one of the beautiful things that Allah has done is call people to call their mindset, their mindset, where your mind is set in on both sides of the temple. <laughs> right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes, very easily we could translate that into your mosque. 
your masjid, mm -hmm. your synagogue, <laughs> right here. Huh? That's right. That's right. Yeah, and Allah says only the righteous can uphold the temple. Mm -hmm. Only the, it is the righteous. Right. It is the only one that can uphold you as a human being, mm -hmm. as a righteous human being, at all, uh, as a human being, period. Right. Only the righteous can do that. Only Aiza. Now, if your temple is falling and you go and gather with a bunch of other people whose temples is falling, what you get? You got a community of fallen temples. <laughs> That's right. That's what you got. You know, Allah sends its messengers to correct the way that has been made crooked. Let's face it, brothers and sisters. Muhammad's way have been made crooked right. in the minds of the people. It has made been made so crooked, so badly, that they have defiled the name of Allah to a point where when you say Allah to people, little people, young people, they oh, think yes. that it's something evil. And Allah said, I have sent you in my timely manner to, check, to let them know my new name, my new timely name, which is Aiza, because they have defiled the name of Allah so badly. It's time. For change, and this for this same reason, Allah has changed the t His names of the Lord of the Throne from Brahman to Allah uh, and uh, to uh, Amen and Ra and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Aten and, and and so many different names of the Lord that has seated the throne. The same L, <laughs> huh? Right. It don't matter. Which is super most supreme angels, the seraphim that it dressed itself up with, it's the same L, the same Lord of the throne. And it changes everything, even its names, in the times of mankind. We have had so many species of human beings and people today think that we've always been the same. <laughs> we've had so many changes in the species of human beings. You know, you said that and it made me go reflect on Quran and, and I hadn't thought about this in a long time. Allah say Allah saying Quran, when my name is spoken, right, you become full of humbleness in right. in, in, his, in his eyes. Oh, yeah. And how many people uh, uh, all these years have experienced that? Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody say you read Quran but you ain't you ain't letting the law read it to you. Well, you could see so many people become haughty and arrogant when they say the name of Allah. Oh, well. I remember this guy. <laughs> I remember this guy real quick whose family was in turmoil and they was fighting and he, the guy went running out. We shouldn't fear none but Allah. We fear none but Allah. Don't run, don't fear none but Allah. And the crowd turned on him and he was tan butt, man. <laughs> <laughs> we were giving a signal. To our New York audience, keep tuning in, keep watching the continuous this program. We thank you for viewing this program at High Hat Moment. We're going to carry on this conversation to those that are still present Who here. Who of you want to do things present. right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly...